YouTube. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, today's going to be a pretty interesting video, and I want to first take the time to thank all of you that uh, Facebook wished me luck in my surgery and everything. And as you see, I'm fine. Uh, I want to thank all of you. Uh, had some really big supporters out there while I was going through my surgery. Drew the Entertainer, Serpent City Exotics. Thank you very much, brother. Can't wait to see you next month when uh, Jeremy and I take the trip out there to New York. Uh, Lenny, you were another big supporter of me. I really appreciate everything you did, bro. Um, you guys are really fantastic friends of mine, and I really appreciate everything. You know, there's a whole bunch of, you know, people in the reptile community that were wishing me well and everything. Can't get all your names out there, but I want to thank all of you, so this is a thank you for all of you guys. But today's video is going to be on hats. And who doesn't love hats? We all love hats. Hats are everywhere. They're just really wacky normals with uh, that carry a gene. But over here, we have quite a few hats, and uh, this is going to be a hat video, and we're going to show you quite a few of them. First, we're going to start off with uh, this little girl here. This little girl here is a female yellow belly that is uh, pos hat pied. Now, this little girl was hatched out over at uh, JD Reptiles, and pretty much almost everything at JD Reptiles is hat pied. So, um, she's a pos hat pied. Um, pos hat pied. But um, she's doing really good. She was uh, quite a bit smaller than this when we first got her. Um, she's doing really excellent, and uh, she's not sure if she has the pine markers, but she's got a nice little belly going on, a lot of speckling going on. But uh, this is my yellow belly pet pie. Now these guys here, I've had these guys for a while, you guys know about these guys. They've been doing really well, they've been gaining some fantastic great size. This is my male Hat Azantic. Um, he's a 66% hat. Um, he was hatched out of a pinstripe to a Hat to a Hat Azantic clutch, um, where uh, Jeremy it was hatched out by Jandy Reptiles, and they ended up getting some visuals. They ended up getting the Azantic pinstripe, and uh, these. Um, fortunately for not, fortunately for me, I ended up getting the only pair of normal hats that came out of the uh, clutch. So hopefully next season these guys will be up to size and you know we can prove them out and you know get some visual stuff going on. I've already got a little bit of a waiting list for some people that want some visual stuff, but um, uh, hopefully everything works out well and we prove these guys out. I'm about to uh, take out his sister and show you the uh, female head. <laughs> She's a lot lighter in color than what he is, which is weird because it was opposite when they were a lot younger. She was the darker one, he was the lighter one, now he's the darker one, she's the lighter one. But this is the female, Het Azantic, 66% Het, and um, she's just doing magnificent. She's putting on some great size. There's no question that she'll be up to size for next season. Um, can't wait. Like I said, hopefully, you know, we hit the odds and we prove these guys out and you know, we get some visual azantic stuff going because um, that's something I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, I, I know a lot of you out there aren't really into the whole azantic stuff anymore because of how they brown out and everything. And these are VPI line. They're not the TSK line. These are the VPI line head azantic. And um, as you all know, you know, the TSK line does tend to maintain their nice silvery color more than what the VPI line does. The VPI line does tend to brown out a little bit, but not too much. So I'm actually hoping for some nice babies out of these pair. So uh, stay tuned for more updates on these guys. More heads, people. More heads. Now, we got this big girl here who's uh, almost at 1,200 grams. She's about 1,100 grams, uh, 1,150 grams around there. Um, this is uh, my Poshet Pied, really reduced pattern type normal. Uh, you might recognize this girl from my Dinker video, the Dinker the Normal video, video, video. Hello. <laughs> but um, this is my Poshet Pied female. Uh, not really sure what I'm going to be throwing her to next season, but um, hopefully I can throw her to something that's you know a pied or a het pied. Maybe do a project with somebody and hopefully prove her out to be het pied. But um, you know, like I said, hats. Who doesn't love them? They're just glorified moons. But this is my Posset Pied female. Nice belly. Nice belly. She's got some really great 
weight. I love that nice stripe that comes down her tail there. Just beautiful. She's really temperament. And if you guys seen on Facebook about a month ago, I posted up a uh, couple pictures of my finger bleeding from a bite. Well, it was from this girl. She bit my finger. But it was my fault. It was feeding day. She was hungry. Can't blame her. <laughs> but that's baby. Gotta love them. And then I've got one more hat. One more hat. But it's not a ball. Corn snakes. This is my Hypo Anery Ghost 100% head albino. Once again, a hat, but not a ball python. Corn snake. Uh, this guy, he's actually uh, got some great size onto him. Uh, he actually was a gift from my friend Gabby. Um, he's not really a corn snake guy, but um, he was a gift from my friend Gabby. I'm probably going to be doing a breeding project with uh, Herb Kid 23 He's the owner of J&M Reptiles. Um, check out his YouTube channel. It's Herb Kid 23 It's J&M Reptiles. He also has a business website. Um, look him up. Uh, he's a really good guy. Um, this guy's going to be going to him probably in July when I go to the next White Plains Expo. You know, do some breeding projects with him. He has an albino female. He's 100% head albino. So we'll probably get some albino stuff going on. And, you know, they're all going to be het anery, het hypo. So, you know, stay tuned for some more updates on that. So uh, those are all my hets, guys. Uh, not really... Hey, come on. Get in there. Corn snakes. You got to love them. Very flighty, very flighty. And uh, another thing, you know, this video is pretty much brought to you by SK Energy Drinks. You gotta support 50 Cent, man. He's doing great things. You know, pretty much every person that purchases an SK Energy Drink, it goes to donations towards kids and, you know, homeless families and things like that. You know, different flavors. It's excellent. Give them a shot, guys. You know, they're not expensive, they're actually really affordable. SK Energy Drinks, guys support it. But as always folks, this is Chico of Valentine Reptiles, hoping your seasons are going really well, and as always, stay tuned for more updates.